Hey guys, so I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to do my two week wait video. I have been crazy, crazy, crazy busy with work and I just have not had time <laughs> until now to make a video. Um, and it's dark out again, so I'm like doing this in my laundry room. <laughs> this is the only place the lighting isn't super, super yellow. Um, I just wanted to thank before I forget, all of my new subscribers, I really, really appreciate you guys watching and following my journey and it just means the world to me to have your guys' support. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, today I am 11 DPO. I might test tomorrow at 12 DPO or Tuesday, which would be obviously 13 DPO. Um, at 12 DPO, it would be 14 days past trigger, um, so I think I ovulated I took the trigger shot Monday at like midnight, um, and then I think I ovulated Wednesday afternoon around, you know, like later, late late afternoon, early evening, just from the cramping and the other symptoms that I was having. Um, I had a little bit of a crazy early two-week wait. Um, so Monday I triggered, to, or Wednesday, sorry, I'm getting everything confused. Monday I triggered, Wednesday I felt like the cramping and ovulation pain, so I thought, oh, Okay, great, I'm ovulating. Um, and then Friday morning, I woke up, you know, went to the bathroom, and I know this is way TMI, but this is what we're all here for, talk about this stuff. Um, I looked down, there was like bright red blood, like dripping in the toilet. And I wiped, and then it was pink, and then it stopped. And so I called the doctor's office, because you guys know, like, if you've watched my other videos, I've always been worried about my progesterone levels and the two-week wait. Like, I've just always thought there was something wrong with it, but nobody's ever checked it in the two-week wait. So I called, and the nurse called me back, and I know she didn't talk to the doctor. I told her what happened, and she was like, well, I don't think it's your period. Obviously, it's not my period. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Like, just kind of like she said that, I was like... I was trying to be nice. I was like, I know it's not my period. You know, I'm aware of that. Um, I just am a little worried about my progesterone levels being low because I don't think I should be bleeding right now. And she was like, well, you should get your period within 12 to 14 days of the trigger shot. I don't think it's your period. It was kind of like talking to a brick wall. I just have not been impressed with the nurses at this doctor's office yet. You know, I love my doctor. These nurses are killing me. So I was like you know, do you think I might have a progesterone problem? Should I have the levels checked? And she was like, nope, nope, just call us Friday if you don't get your period and we'll do a beta. And I was like, okay, which was this past Friday and I obviously haven't gotten my cycle yet, but I thought that was way too early considering I think I ovulated Wednesday. So anyways, nothing ever came of it. I started spawning again that night, so Friday night. And it was just brown. And then it got... I think it lasted one more day and then it has totally stopped and I have had nothing since, thank God. Um, so yeah, I'm not really super hopeful for what's going to happen, but I'm also not ruling anything out. You know, I always hold on to that glimmer of hope that it could be positive. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on. And I've had like a little bit of like pinching and cramping, kind of feeling like AF is coming, so... I wouldn't be super shocked if she shows in the next couple days, even though I hope she doesn't. Um, yeah, so I will definitely do a live pregnancy test since I'm not spotting at all anymore. Um, like I said, tomorrow morning or the next day. Um, I scheduled myself a massage tomorrow. So I was thinking about testing and I was like, okay, you know, if it's positive, I'll go celebrate. If it's negative, I'll be able to like have a cry in the morning and then go relax and go to this massage. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I've been on call a lot lately, and I haven't been called in, so I've been doing a lot of shopping. And I found this super cute bracelet um, at Nordstrom Rack, which I love that store. You can find such cute, like, high-quality things there for a good price. Um, it's just a leather strap, but look how cute. It's got a little anchor for Hope, and it's kind of blinged out, and it's just this little magnetic clasp that puts it together. And I know, yeah, my wrist is that small. It's very tiny. But how cute! It's like $9. I just fell in love with it. And who doesn't need a little symbol of hope also to carry around with them every now and then? Um, also, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my fertility massage. So I did take everybody up on their advice and I went and got that. 
and that's where I'm going to get my massage this Monday. This lady is amazing. She is very holistic and she's very into Chinese medicine and you know your spiritual well-being all that stuff and as much as I believe in the medicine side of things I also believe that your mind and your body and all that stuff has a huge power over everything else as well so she brought me in it was the most relaxing experience of my life like the table was really warm she had like a warm pillow under my knees she used like reflexology regular massage she did this like castor oil pack thing over my abdomen she like blended up these herbs like right in the room made her own like special blend of oils and herbs and like rubbed that on my body she used like these tuning forks to send like vibrations through my body like she used a lot of guided imagery and meditation which was really cool like that opened my mind up to that again so I got some apps that are really really great and they're super relaxing and I even got my husband using it and he is so not into that stuff but he has a lot of stress at work and so I figured it might help him and it actually has been helping both of us they're like 99 cents a piece I think one was called simply being and the other one was called relax and rest and they just have like a face like a cartoon face of a lady and the Apple um, app store so I don't know if you guys want to look for those if you're interested in doing that, but that has something that has totally gotten me through this two-week wait. Just visualizing, you know, being pregnant and the baby and all kinds of positive things, um, but also realizing and visualizing that it's going to be okay, we'll make it through another cycle, not to like get in a horrific hot mess about it <laughs> if I get a big fat negative. So yeah, that's all I've been up to, and the Monday massage is not um, any kind of fertility massage. It is simply a regular relaxing massage. They had like a Valentine's February special, you know, with a full body massage and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to try to pamper myself a little bit and just try to enjoy this experience a little more. Like, it's a blessing to get a two-week wait and to be able to do these treatments and all this stuff that I'm taking for granted in my life and you know like we just need to stop and think about these things and really take care of ourselves a little more so I'm working on that that's a little project of mine um, in 2014 is taking care of myself a little bit better as far as like my spirit and all those kinds of things my stress levels so I'm wishing you guys the best of luck in all of your cycles um, I know that, you know, there have been some BFPs out there, so big congratulations on that. And I'm so happy for everyone who is getting those babies and having healthy pregnancies. I just, I think it's amazing, and I hope to join you guys one day in that. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully it'll be tomorrow or the next day with a live pregnancy test. Bye, girls!